So Ellie, how do you think we're doing? Ellie, how do you yeah. think we're doing? Great, I think we're doing great. Oh gosh, I had to use the talk button there. Why don't you explain that to these folks? So sometimes when you're jamming with people and you've got headphones on and you have an idea you want to talk about in the song, yeah. instead of taking your headphones off and being what? like, hey, you can just use the talk button. So it's located here on the blender or on the app right there. You just tap that, it activates it and you can have a conversation without removing your headphones. And then you can tap it off to deactivate it. Why don't wow. you tell us about the rest of the buttons on the Okay, Linda. you could call talk um, a sort of global function. And here are some more global functions along the top here. Mute, reset, and compress. We've already discussed Bluetooth, of course, to pair to the phone. Mute is really handy to turn everybody's headphones off while you plug in something that's going to be noisy or it's just a way to just like quiet everybody's headphones for a moment. Um, Bluetooth, of course, we discussed. Reset. Now that's really handy where if you've got a, you've had a jam session and everybody's messed with their levels and all the levels are all over the place and you want to get them back to a sort of starting position, press and hold that for three seconds and uh, it brings it back to the factory settings, which are nice and nice place to start. Finally, there's compress here. Compress reduces the amount of dynamic peaks and so it doesn't hurt your ears so much when you're starting to get loud. So um, that's basically that. Yeah, and then the last thing we're going to talk to you guys about is the USB, uh, which is on the back of the device there. So this is the one that comes in the box, and mm -hmm. what this does is it connects to your computer or to uh, uh, an app, or sorry, uh, iPad. iPad, thank you, or your iPhone, if you want to do any uh, multi-track recording or firmware updates. So we are actually going to do a video called How to Do a Multi-Track Recording to an iOS uh, GarageBand. And uh, what you're going to need is one of these camera connector kits, and it just takes your yep. USB um, to Lightning so that you can plug into an iPad or an iPhone. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for checking out this series. We hope it was helpful. Please mm -hmm. subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, and if you have any questions or comments, please do so below, and we will do everything we can to give you guys a hand and get you guys all set up to blend. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.